You taught, you taught the course, but you weren't a user in the product. I did not own crypto assets. They're a highly speculative asset. I, the only digital assets I have is my bank account and my brokerage account. I'm gonna make you pop like that. So GM and welcome back to the channel. I hope that not too many of you are hearing this last night. Liquidation. But instead woke up to a bit of this. Stop loss triggered. But in all seriousness, hopefully risk was managed and not too many losses taken. Bitcoin obviously taking a bit of a nosedive there and a lot of the altcoins really taking a big nuke. So in this video, a market update. Plus, we're taking a look at Pepe, the meme coin that sucked the liquidity out of the crypto market and marking this as a local top, it seems. If you enjoy the content, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So here we have the Bitcoin chart ahead of us. I've marked out a few areas. So yesterday we were talking about this kind of region here, 27.2. Crown was stating that if we do get closures below the 29,000 buck region, 27.2 is highly likely on the table. Yesterday, we didn't really get anywhere close to a bounce up to 29,000. And it became quite obvious by the late afternoon here that we weren't going to get that bounce and downside targets were looking very juicy. So personally exited some positions looking to buy back lower. And now the target here at 27.2 is being encroached upon. We've had a few dips just below 28,000, 27 nines, that kind of place putting in a small bounce here on the hourly to 28.1, but 27.2 looks like it will be touched. If we just zoom out, monthly resistance up ahead was at 34 to 35K. Of course, haven't got that close, but the next monthly support, the yellow line down here, is somewhere in the region of about 23,000 US dollars. Of course, as well, though, if you go on to a weekly time frame here, you can see there's quite a lot of action around here, 24 twos up to around 25. So somewhere from, I would say here, 25K down to around 23 if 27.2 doesn't hold, is definitely a region I'd be looking to load back up in. As this should surely be supportive of a bigger bounce. And at that point, we're looking at higher lows for Bitcoin. I personally don't see us revisiting the range lows all the way down here in the teens. I do believe that was a deviation caused by that huge cascade of FTX's blow up. So worst case scenario would be this kind of region down here. There's a lot of weekly confluences at around 19, 20,000 bucks. So that would be previous all time high of the last cycle, 20K. That's the kind of doomsday picture I'm painting at here, but I don't honestly think we would go that low. But as ever, always have a plan just in case. So Crown stating this just earlier on the high time Time frame downside is more likely 84% of the 19 downside moves his model predicts somewhere between 19 to 34% down and 19% down there would put us around 25k which lines up with those levels I just talked about now a quick check in on the stablecoin flows so the amount of stablecoins in the crypto market this is obviously of interest because whilst we're not seeing new money flow in as this chart denotes it is just the same dollars slushing around in the crypto space, i.e. people who are already here coming in off the sidelines. Hence, there would have been a maximum point at which we could have rallied to. And it seems at this moment, around that 31K region is it. If we just check out this chart here, the red line market cap of all stables, 134, 133, 132, 131 billion US dollars. So it is continuing to drain. What we saw with this run up here was the TVL was increasing the blue line. So this meaning people were utilizing their crypto assets, maybe Bitcoin, maybe ETH, depositing them into money markets and leveraging them to get more dollars. But that has started to really subside here from the 19th of April. 83 bill in TVL are now down to 77 billion. So as you can see, a bit of a drying up in liquidity conditions, hence a bit of a bearish bias here for further downside. The bears taking over, the bulls have kind of run out of steam and we'll see how this plays out in the next few weeks. But it seems that selling May and walk away was front run. So on to the 2023 meme of the year, it's Pepe, the coin that saw many holders from just last week become millionaires, 
crazy, crazy stuff. Well, what the heck is it? Well, it is a picture of a frog with a cap saying, make meme coins great again. Currently, the market cap is around $100 million. The 24 hour trading volume, almost $90 million. And that huge circulating supply, 420 trillion 690 billion tokens 42069 there as you can see it's listed on some key decentralized exchanges people getting sandwiched attacked by jared from subway.eth that is an mev bot that is extracting like 400k a day at the moment crazy crazy things you can see some centralized exchanges have started to list it the likes of mex c huobi and gate and bitget this is likely to be listed on another top tier exchange, OKX, very soon as well, as they're running some form of campaign here saying, if you can deposit your meme coin into our address, we'll get it listed if it meets a certain criteria. And essentially, you can see from the holders list here, that address was set up. You can see the OKX one is down here. It's the 47th largest address already and has over 260,000 US dollars worth of Pepe coins deposited into it. So the power of memes is of course real and this is obviously annoying a lot of people due to the fact it has sucked the liquidity out of the market. So we saw that it was around Tuesday, Pepe coin started to trend with it. Things like Muck Pepe, Dog Pepe, all this crazy stuff, Wojak Wag Me, all these different coins started to spout up. And this is obviously over exuberance, irrational behavior in the markets. And that is typically the behavior that marks a top. We see it time and time again with meme coins. Typically the meme coin of choice is Doge, but here Pepe has taken the mantle. So as we don't have new participants really entering the market, there's only a certain amount of liquidity in the markets. Something going from zero to over $150 million market cap means a lot of liquidity is sucked from the market. But the hold account is still going up here. It's actually up quite a bit. 33,803, now 33,872. This is literally ticking up every like few minutes and people are continuing to embrace the Pepe token as you can see from the chart down here. There was a bit of a big correction here, but it has been bought up. That was down to 173, now back up to 235 here. They are constantly doing Twitter spaces, raids. The power of the memes is exceptional with this one, but what the heck does it actually do? So it says the most memeable meme coin in existence. The dogs have had their day. It's time for Pepe to take rain. So obviously this is a good bit of fun and humor. The thesis behind this is they were sick of all the random S coin meme tokens out there. And they said, look, Pepe is the original. Let's make a proper Pepe coin. We're here to make meme coins great again. We've launched with stealth, no pre-sale, zero taxes. The LP has been burned, contract renounced. Pepe is a coin for the people forever, fueled by pure mimetic power. Let Pepe show you the way. Always a bit of a red flag when you've got how to buy on the main page, but nonetheless, as you can see, tokenomics down here, quite a large supply there. No taxes, no BS. It's that simple. 93% sent to the liquidity pool and 6.9% in a centralized exchange listing wallet, which is this one here, the top wallet. So they're suggesting they're gonna get themselves onto tier one exchanges, Binance, Coinbase, something like that. And who knows with the power of memes, that is certainly possible. I did get involved with some of the spaces earlier just to listen in to see what kind of things are going on. They're creating smart contracts. They have some contributors of sorts there, people who are trying to create some form of DAO structure and incentivize others to do things on the Pepe network. So one thing to note with these meme coins is that if they annoy people, they typically do very well and actually better than people would like. So I do see a lot of salt for this one on my timeline, which makes me think that potentially in a wider downturn in the crypto markets here, say over the next month or so, I think Pepe still can hold some value and potentially go up and be one of the coins that actually performs well. Just for that simple fact, it will annoy a lot of people. So as it says at the bottom here, Pepe is a meme coin with no intrinsic value or expectation of financial return. There is no formal team or roadmap. The coin is completely useless and for entertainment purposes only. If you go and check them out over on their Twitter feed, go to the media page and you will see all the memes galore. So they have been hard at work producing lots of memes here. And this kind of power, 63,000 views on that one. This one down here, the kind of Wolf of Wall Street, 205,000. You know, they're getting a lot of impressions and a lot of people are getting behind the Pepe movement. It was been trending here in the UK on my Twitter and I'm sure in countries that you're from as well. So, you know, add it to the meme list because if this does survive 2023 and it doesn't go to zero, probably one to think about in terms of having a meme coin allocation into the 2024 
bull run. So left and right hand side of the bell curve, I like the frog coin and then the middle curvers. You can't just make another Pepe coin. There's already hundreds of useless meme coins out there. So Pepe, of course, of interest here, but I do feel at this moment in time, the crypto markets are being capped by the major whales. We're seeing big numbers like this, almost 6,000 BTC being transferred to Binance. You're seeing wallets waking up from like nine years previous and things like that on the timeline, which just makes you think that someone really wants to cap the price here and that we're going to get some great opportunities to buy a little bit lower. So drop me a GM down below and also let me know what are you thinking of loading up and at what kind of level? We're roughly one year out from the halving. Obviously, just make sure you've got a stack ready for 2024. But what are you seeing that could be of great value here as we have a bit of a downturn for the first time in what seems like months? Enjoy your weekend, folks. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.